Hi all, welcome to Azure Talks. So today we are going to understand uh, about the uh, custom domain. And uh, what we will do today is uh, we will try to add the custom domain to a uh, Microsoft Enter ID, uh, which is also called Azure Active Directory, uh, AAD, okay? And I will try to validate it and see if that uh, gets validated. The prerequisites for this is to have the Enter ID, which is uh, enter.microsoft.com, you should have your proper admin ID and uh, you should also have a, a domain name which is like umeshpandit.com so so that you can actually validate it okay so let's get started hope you can see my screen uh, what you need to do is you need to go down and look for the settings uh, sorry it should be it should be searchable but let's go and see domain names probably the domain names comes under here and uh, let me minimize this or maybe make it top. Okay, and then over here, you just have to click on add custom domain. Yep. And then this screen will appear. Basically, type in umeshpandit.com and say add domain. So once that domain has been shown as added, it will show you the records. So what you need to do, you need to parallelly open the omeshpandit.com uh, forward slash uh, 2083, which is actually a cPanel. Go to your uh, DNS zone, okay? So if you're not able to find, just find it across the uh, search tool or just go for the zone editor. Once you open the zone editor, uh, go back to the this screen and look for the records. So it is looking for txt. So what we are going to do, we'll just quickly add the txt, saying the uh, txt record. So we'll say a record. And uh, okay, let me cancel this. Probably we can show like this, like and show like this. Uh, cancel this, manage. And then uh, over here, if you see add record, within the add record, go to the txt one. Okay, txt one um this one has been let's cancel this and then you see at the rate so copy this at the rate so this is by default it will have just press it uh the tab button automatically come it will come and it has the tsl value as 360 which is uh, nothing but the one hour duration so just paste one hour duration and uh, we have already selected txt which is fine and then go ahead and look for the uh, destination address copy and paste it here and save it now it uh, if you see it is showing at the rate at the rate means the default domain name that's okay and save it record has the same value two 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 and if we see here what it's trying to say uh, the txt name is already there so what we will do we'll try to filter out how many txt we have so looks like this domain already exists somewhere so we just say it was validated somewhere so we we'll just go ahead and delete it i'm not sure which domain it is pointing to so what i will do i will just quickly uh, cancel this go to this again edit it and within that i will just try to add the records to the newest one and say save record uh, okay, looks like the value is not accepting, so no problem. It could be a temporary uh, issue. What what you can do, you can just update it with this and say txt and save records. It should work now. Let's see. So txt will be done, most probably. And uh, we have to go now focus on the MX record. So txt got validated, yep. And uh, since I have found that there is a TXT record already, so there might be an MX record also. So what we need to do, we need to see what it is trying to say, MSV1. So we'll see if it is there or not. Yeah, it is there. So what we will do, we'll edit this, this we'll edit the same one, have the same details, okay. And uh, the priority is, I think priority is also same, yep. And just update this with the correct number, and then we are good to go. So just replace this and say save records. 
So this has been done. Yep, go back here and say verify. Okay, so there is a trouble saying that Umesh Pandit domain is previously configured on Umesh Pandit on Microsoft.com using the existing MTA ID. This is just to validate the domain name. You need to first need to remove this domain. Okay. Um, I am not sure if I have already validated. Looks like what I can do, I can go and open a particular um, incognito mode and then try to uh, go to the portal.azure.com try to see if I'm able to uh, get that user ID and the password. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's see if I have admin. Yep, that works. And the password next. Okay, so looks like it is working. We'll quickly go to that and uh, try to delete it. Try to open it again. Ask me later, please. Yep, and go to the MTA ID. Yep, so looks like I have some users as well. So I first need to review the users, otherwise I will not be able to delete. So I think, I think, okay. So this one is maybe troubling, will be troubling. So go ahead and delete this. Go to your uh, uh, tenancy, go to your uh, domain name, custom domain name. And from here, I need to remove it. So I will just say, click and delete. So there is no object, I think. Yep, let me delete. So it has been now deleted successfully. I just need to refresh it. Yep. Go back here and say verify. Yeah, so it might, may take some time to validate, but it should be, uh, it should be done. Okay, no problem. It is taking some time. Refresh it. Go back here. Verify it again. Yep, so it is showing that this has been validated. Okay, so you can come back and try to refresh this page. So this has been validated. So it is very simple. Uh, hope you have understood. In case you have any doubt, just come back to me. Definitely, I am here to help you out. So we'll talk more uh, on the Azure. Thank you very much. Uh, please do like, subscribe and share amongst your peers. Thank you very much.